you're looking at Solar Flare, which is just an absolutely amazing paper airplane designed by Aiden Dominguez, who is one of the grand prize winners of the 2022 Foldable Flight Paper Airplane Designers Contest. So congratulations, Aiden, for an amazing submission and for winning this customized trophy featuring Solar Flare and your name on it. Now, anyone who supports me on patreon.com slash foldable flight can fold a plane that looks like this by downloading and printing off the template there. So let's see this thing in flight, and then I'll teach you how to fold it. All you will need in order to fold solar flare is a sheet of eight and a half by 11 or A4 paper. You can also use a pen and a ruler, but that is optional. And with that, we're going to begin by folding the right edge to the left edge. Go ahead and open your paper up and now fold your top edge to the bottom edge. Once you do that, open the paper up again and fold your bottom edge to the crease you just made. And now we'll open it up and flip the paper over and pull this horizontal crease to your bottom horizontal crease. Just line that up and crease all the way across. Now we'll go ahead and open it up again and pull this to that crease. You can go ahead and flip your paper over and kind of sharpen that crease on this side and then flip this whole little flap down just like that and then flip your paper back over. Now we're going to go ahead and fold our top edge here into the center, just making a triangle. Do the same thing on the other side. And now we're going to fold this top portion down. Now, if you're using A4 paper, you would fold right across the bottom of these layers. With eight and a half by 11, you're going to estimate half an inch above this. You can actually measure if you're using a ruler, but it's really not necessary. And you can see I'm folding it down just like this. And now I'm going to fold this edge here into the center. Do the same thing on the left side. And then let's go ahead and open those layers up for a moment. And we're going to fold this point here up to the top. Unfold, fold the point to that point right there. And then pull this point up so that the crease you just made lands on the crease just behind it like so. And then we can close this all back up. And now I'm going to kind of rotate it here just to work on it this way. And I want to fold right along this edge, pulling this in. And I make sure that my back edge here is landing on itself. So I know the crease I'm making is perpendicular to the back edge of my plane. I'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side here. And your plane should look like this. Now I'm going to open that up on both sides. And basically I'm going to reverse this crease I just made, kind of opening the paper up, folding in on that hinge, and then gathering these layers really neatly into one hand like this. And I actually want to lay them down this direction, making a new crease just behind that one, the same exact crease on this layer behind it. I'll do the same thing over here. So I'm reaching into this pocket and forcing it open, folding on that existing crease there, gathering the layers and then laying them down just like this. 
Okay, now we're to the point where you might wanna use your ruler, but again, you really don't have to. Basically, if you're using eight and a half by 11, your fins are going to be three quarters of an inch from this side. And again, you can really just estimate this, so don't feel like you have to use a ruler. If you are using A4, you're going to measure two centimeters from your edge and make a little mark. Again, you can estimate these, so don't feel like you have to use a pen and ruler if you don't have one on hand. Okay, and from these points, we're going to fold from that point to this corner. And you'll see the layers are gonna open up in a weird way here as I do this. I'm just placing my crease on this top layer. So I'm allowing that to open up right at that point and pulling it to that back corner, just like so. And once I do that, I can flatten it by pulling my crease here right to that corner there. And that's my reference. And then I sweep out the slack towards the edge, just like that. Okay, I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm folding from this point right here to this corner. And now pulling tight to right there and sweeping out right here. Okay, and now I'm going to fold this little tab right over that layer and then I'll reverse it and tuck it in behind. Do the same thing over here. And now we're ready to kind of tuck some layers in behind everything else. You can see we have this layer right here, that horizontal layer. Basically I want to fold from this point here where this layer intersects that edge to the point where this layer intersects that layer behind it. So I'm just pulling the layers right like this while I have the paper in this position. I'll fold right from this point to, I'll show you, land that layer right there, that corner right along this layer. And I'll just leave everything in this position while I do the same thing on the other side. So I'm folding from this point right here to the point where this layer intersects the layer behind it. And then I'll fold in just like this. And now basically I need to reverse this so that this whole tab I created goes behind all the other layers. And there are a lot of layers here, so it can be a little tricky. You can gently ease it as you reverse it. And then you can tuck that behind everything behind it, just like that. And the thicker your paper, the harder that will be, but it's never too hard. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So again, I'm just kind of gently easing it as I reverse those creases. just like that. And now everything's locked together. Now we can go ahead and flip the paper over. And I want to fold along the existing crease I have there. Basically, I'm just pulling this whole tab over. This will become the fin right along that crease and be gentle, kind of roll it into the right shape so that this doesn't get too warped and continue your crease all the way beyond to where it intersects this edge. Okay, and I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. Okay, and we are really close to being done at this point. Now I am going to pull and make a crease 
that runs right from this point here to this point here. And that point is where the center crease intersects this horizontal crease you have. And that's basically the limit of the pocket at the front. So you're just pulling it right from there, the base of the fin to the center crease and applying a crease. And then you're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. And now you can see when we close the plane up, that whole section swings forward like a, a joint. And when we fold our wings, we want to fold wings that are parallel. The wing crease should be parallel to our fin crease, and it should go right through this point of that joint right there. And when I do one side, I actually like to unfold it and then fold the other side so I don't rip that joint right in the middle that's going to lock the plane together. So I'm just rolling the layers gently, finding that crease now that I made on the other wing and lining this wing up with that, creasing right through that joint there all the way to the front. And there you go. Now all we have left to do is set the angle of the fins and the angle of the wings. You can see from the back, those fins should be straight up. Your wings should be really nice and level all the way across. And you will probably find that you need just a little bit of up elevator on this plane. So you can bend the back edges up just a little bit as you need. If you find that it's still nosing down, then just bend the back edges up a little bit more. And with that, Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations once again to Aiden and good luck flying your plane. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. You can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com foldableflight and join the foldable fleet today.